again, it's Cammie from the blog Tidbits. Now, while I've been sharing our RV renovation, Tidbits on Wheels, I've heard the same comment a handful of times, and that is, if it wasn't for the windows, I would have no idea that this was an RV. <laughs> now, yes, that is true. The RV windows are a dead giveaway, no matter what updates you do. Now, however, this doesn't mean you can't improve them and try to trick the eye, so to speak. The key is in the window treatments. So today I want to talk to you about the three different budget-friendly and beautiful window treatments that we did in the RV, some tips for selecting options, and how to hang them for success. thrilled as can be to be collaborating with blindsgalore.com to help you pick out window treatments. Now yes, I'm showing you what we put in our RV, but I promise you will love what they have for your homes as well. I've had their blinds in our homes and I've adored the look of the faux jute roller blinds in our master bedroom, as well as the textured woven blinds I had in my office. Now, I won't shop for blinds anywhere else. Their service, quality, and selection is my absolute favorite. Now, I will leave a link to the other blinds we've had in our homes as well if you want to check that out. Now, even though our current home on wheels is tiny, I thought it would be fun to mix in a variety of window treatments, which allows each tiny space to have a personality of its own. There really is no reason to have the same blinds throughout the whole house, so don't ever be afraid to mix things up from room to room. Now, when it comes to RV specific manufactured purchases for window treatments, I would honestly steer clear. Uh, you'll pay way more for them, and from what I've seen, even the new ones still look like grandma house blinds, <laughs> and I mean that in the sweetest way possible. Okay, so let me show you the three varieties of window treatments we used in our RV. One of them was DIY, another selection was very budget friendly, and another one was kind of a splurge. First and most budget friendly option is the handmade curtains. Now I simply sewed two layers of pure linen fabric together with a casing on top for the curtain rod, and I did this for the bunk area of the RV. Now I opted to do this for a few reasons. One, the windows were so tiny, it really didn't make sense to buy blinds for such small windows. Two, the bunk area windows hardly had enough wall room to even hang a roller blind of any sort, and the size of the small curtain rod was about all the wall space we had available. And three, it looks way cute. <laughs> Linen to coordinate with their beds, and my kids can easily open and close them when needed. You could definitely make curtains for your RV, or all the windows in the RV, and save a lot of money. However, if you want to upgrade and clean up the look of the windows, I would recommend the following options. Second, and a budget-friendly and significantly better design-friendly option for RV windows is roller blinds, or roller shades. There are so many varieties of roller shades to choose from. In fact, I picked uh, two different varieties both for the living room area and the kitchen area, just to coordinate better with what design I had imagined for each space. I particularly love the texture from these blinds from the Blinds Galore Envision Roller Shades selection. In the kitchen, I chose Papyrus Linen in the sterling color, which is a nice blue-gray textured blind. I really love how it looks, and I will link to the specific selection if that helps. I wanted to keep things light in the living room area, so I opted for the color Polynesian Sands, um, the white sand variety. Again, they have a lovely natural woven texture to them that significantly upgrades the space. Okay, the third option are natural shades. Um, they were definitely the biggest splurge for our RV, but I'm glad I can show you how much texture and coziness they add to a space. Now this master bedroom area just begged for some natural textures, and the window treatments did the trick. The shades I selected are from the Bali line. Um, the color was Grass Ferro Oyster. I am so in love with these shades. I think they are going to play an integral part of designing our new home. Now, luckily you have a lot of options when it comes to customizing your blinds, 
but that can be overwhelming too. So let me walk you through some of the choices and decisions we made. Okay, so the mount for your blinds is determined usually by your window. If you have a window framed in, which is most of the case in a home, I think an inside mount is absolutely beautiful. Now since these RV windows are flush with the wall, an outside mount was really our only option. Another thing to consider is the lift. That's how you raise and lower your blinds, and it's a personal option. Um, but I love a cordless option when at all possible. I adore the clean look of a cordless and how they easily raise and lower. But the only regret I have for these blinds in the living room is that I didn't select a type of blind that had the cordless option. I thought I wouldn't mind having the cords, but I would have much prefer preferred no cords. So keep that in mind. Um, that not all varieties of blinds have that option to go cordless, so it's something to definitely consider. Blinds Galore also has smart blind options now, and having automated blind lift is something I definitely dream about. So the valance, and that's the part above the blind. Um, you'll be able to select if you want a valance on your blinds and what type. I love to add a valance because I think it really finishes off the look. You can buy cheap roller blinds just about anywhere, but the difference is you won't always have a valance option or even a very nice one. It makes me crazy to see the rolling top and the hardware that sits behind the valance, so I always like to make sure that I have one, whether it's an inside or an outside oh, really? mount. Okay, let's talk about the liner. You can buy blinds with no liners. Um, there's light filtering options, light blocking, privacy and more. Adding a light filtering or no lining is a nice option if you want a little light to come through, but our master bedroom has a privacy liner which helps keep this room nice and cozy when needed. Then of course there are other things to consider like cord color, hardware type, etc. These come down to all your personal preference and are things that you can select when you are checking out with your blinds. All right, how to hang your RV blinds for design success. Now you've probably heard this before, but if you want to make a window seem bigger than it is, hang your window treatments higher and wider. This is definitely true and very impactful for RVs as well. Now we raised the mount up quite a bit from the top of the window, and even in the living room area, we lined them up so they were all on the same level when the windows are actually not on the same level. It made a huge difference in making it look seamless. I love to have my blinds hang down a bit from the top so that even when they're exposing all of the window, you get to enjoy the texture and look of the blinds. By hanging the blinds well above the top of the window, I can leave a few inches of the blind down, making the window look bigger than it is and hiding a bit of that curved top in the RV window. Now, it looks particularly great in the master where the shades down and exposes the lovely texture in all its glory. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the blinds in our RV. I loved sharing and hope that you came away with some inspiration and ideas whether you're in an RV or a home. Be sure to keep blindsgalore.com in mind when you go to purchase blinds for your home or your tiny home. You can call them, email them, and definitely take advantage of their helpful and knowledgeable staff. I've never had a bad experience. Um, you can order up all the samples you wish to make sure that you make the right decision for this pretty big investment in your home. Thank you so much for watching, reading, and visiting today. Let me know if you have any more questions about the blinds, and I'd love to hear what you love to use in your home. All right, that wraps up this video. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. I'm excited to dive into video a little bit more and be able to offer this kind of content with my blog, so it's another way for you to learn and explore my tutorials and ideas, and I hope that's helpful for you. I hope you'll follow me along on whatever platform and come back for inspiration for do-it-yourself living because I love sharing. Thanks for watching.